Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Sunday, August 9th of 2020. Well, this morning, the main text for the prayer comes from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 20 through 21. The Apostle Paul is writing to Timothy concerning two types of people, the faithful and the unfaithful, but he speaks indirectly using an analogy of vessels. There are vessels of gold and silver, but also vessels of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. When we conform ourselves to the things of Father God rather than the things of the world, we become vessels of honor to Him, sanctified and useful, prepared for every good work. So today, this morning's prayer examines the potter, the clay, and vessels of honor. Father, thank you for another day of life. You have been so gracious and merciful to me. How can I ever repay you but by living my life only for you to the best of my abilities? This is my offering to you, my life. Make it what you desire. As I think on this, I remember the scripture verses that talk about the potter and the clay. But now, O Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay, and you are the potter, and all we are the work of your hand. Yes, Father, you are the master craftsman, molding and forming the lumps of clay that have been soaking in the water and are now pliable upon the potter's wheel. Form me into a vessel of honor to be used humbly and effectively to serve others, Father, let me cleanse their feet so they too may enter into your house and into your presence. Without their feet being washed, they track in the filth of the world, coming into your house, being defiled by that filth, unworthy of your attention. For they have disrespected you by their willing lack of courtesy. For no unclean thing can remain in your temple, nor can you be in the presence of sin. For you, Father, are holy." Therefore, my job, Father, as a vessel is to contain the water with which others can make themselves clean, that being the Holy Spirit and your word. Through the washing of water of the word, people are made clean from their sins and able to stand before you. And this word, of course, is your only begotten son, Jesus. As I am full of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, I'm able to help others get cleansed by showing them the water that lives in me. For your word states, therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel of honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. O Father, this morning my plea is to make me a vessel of honor, for I have this treasure in my earthen vessel, that the excellence of the power may be of you and not of me. And these things I pray this morning in the name of Jesus, Father. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.